everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so i am continuing my how i color little i guess it's a series now since there's more than one i'm continuing my how i color little series with um showing you how i color different clothing items so i did the sweatpants first i did the jeans as the second video so for this third video i'm going to go ahead and color a blouse and a sweater and i'm still working out of this book pair street style by zoe de las casas cases i'm not sure how to pronounce that the correct way but yeah i'm going to go ahead and continue working in this lovely little fashion book and i'm going to start on this blouse here because i really love this outfit this is so something that i will wear because i love these little um dress slacks and i like this blouse so yeah i hope everyone's doing well i know it's been a minute since i did the last video but you know i just have to feel motivated enough to want to sit down and color one of these little items and i didn't want to just color like one shirt in the video and call it a day so i will be adding me coloring a sweatshirt on the first page that i started so we'll get to that we'll get to that but i'm going to be using prisma colors so here are the colors i'm going to be using i think i had to stop that last bit because it got it got away from me the focus but i will be using white pink rose deco pink and nectar and i will try to put the um color names up as I'm coloring with it hopefully I remember <laughs> on the screen so what I actually want to do is I want to start with white because I want this blouse to be kind of light and that's always my intention when I set out to color something light and then I end up making it darker than I intend I do that every single freaking time <laughs> I'm trying to color something a light color I end up making it a little more darker or giving it a little more contrast than I intend to do but we shall see how this works y'all we will see how this shakes out but I hope everyone has been well and doing as best as we can in these times. And I say these times because this world is bananas. It's banana coconuts out here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope y'all are good. And your family and your loved ones are good as well. But yeah, I'm just going to start off with this white here. Because I just want to see like... I have an idea of what I would like this to look in my, look like in my head. But you know, we, we'll see how that goes. So, hmm, do I want to do my darkest color next? I think I do. So I'm just going to go ahead. This is Nectar now that I'm going to come in with. And that's PC1092. I don't, I don't really like calling out the numbers for Prisma Color because when I color, I read the names. So, I don't know. I'm more of a name for my color pencil than the number if I have the option to have both on them. So, for the arm... I'm going to go ahead and make it darker and I'm just following the lines that the artist has drawn to go ahead and darken this side like so and I kind of want it maybe to look silk but I'm not 100% sold on if that's the kind of material that I'm going for but like I said we'll see when I get done how this shakes out because <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, you know, you just got to go with the flow. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to make this a little dark right here where this little crease meets. And then lighten it like that because I think that'll be cute. I don't know. A lot of this is guesswork, y'all. I just do anything. Like, I don't have a method to my madness a lot of the time. And I find that no plan works for me. <laughs> because when I plan sometimes my coloring page, it, it, it never comes out. Or it rarely comes out the way that I plan it I don't know are you a planner when you color or do you just dig in and, and figure things out as you go like sometimes I'll have a color scheme I may want to try too and then I'll just see if that works out but you know who, who even knows so as you can see right here I kind of created a triangle so right here at the shoulder I'm creating a dark little triangle and then that'll be like a crease there kind of help me map out where I would like my creases and folds to go so I do want to darken this bit here because that's where the artist kind of drew this but I did receive a comment I've been receiving lovely comments on these how I color videos so thank you so much for y'all that are watching and I hope you learned something or you know you take away something from these videos I'm by no means a professional <laughs> at all I'm a hobby colorist I'm self-taught and yeah you know if you can learn something that's great and I appreciate you watching, truly, because you could be watching anything else. And, you know, I get the loveliest comments. And then I also got a comment 
from someone saying that they actually bought this book, which is uh great because I don't see very many people with it. And there are different versions. There's a um, Secret Tokyo one, I think it's called, and there's a couple other ones. So if you can support the artist and get this book, that's great. I don't color in it and show it enough love that it deserves at all. And I feel terrible about it, but you know, and I've had this book for more than four, I think five years I've had this book. So it's on Amazon, but I think it's a little expensive if I must be honest. So I'm going just creating my darkest bits. So I'm basically following the line that the artist drew, but I am going to go ahead and create my own folds here in a minute. And again, this is Nectar in the Prismacolor. You can use whatever colors you want. You just need a dark color, a mid color, and a light color in your um color hues or whatever your color tones that you're using. I don't know. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and make this little wavy because this is like a wavy blouse I think it's very wavy and I imagine it to be silk or like some that nylon that's kind of like silk so I think that's what's fun when you color clothes too is like imagining what type of fabric things are and your imagination can really come out and you can figure out the way you want your clothes to look and I'm coloring her arm but it's okay so down here I'm going to go and make this darker. But yeah, I was originally going to go with gray for this blouse. But then I said, nah, I want to try and do like a light kind of, not very summery, but like a light kind of color. And we'll see how this shakes out. Hopefully good. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Okay, so that's how I'm going to go about creating how that looks there okay so for this inside part bear with me here because i'm going to try something kind of funny i'm going to go ahead and create like a little triangle here because in my mind i feel like this might be a little fold here and i'm just going to go with that and create that and then like a little triangle here so basically i'm just creating triangles if you can tell like in order to get my blouse to shape I'm just creating little triangles and then this here is like a U. You could think of it like a letter U going here. Just so it can look kind of flowy and, you know, just breezy. A breezy blouse. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue this little triangle that I had made here. And I think that's how I kind of want this first half of well, this this half of her blouse to go. I'm going to bring this down, though. I'm going to do that. Just because I think it'll look cool. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to do that dark side there. So, on this side, I'm just going to go ahead and darken the collar. I'm still using my nectar. Sorry to scratch my nose. And, uh... <laughs> I'm going to go down and make this a little darker here. But yeah, I really like this blouse. I will wear this. I mean, this is a bit low for me. I don't know about that. But <laughs> like, I don't like my shirts this low like this. But I would definitely wear these pants. I love these um dress slacks. They are really nice Um, how they're drawn. But I really like this book because it's such of a good variety of fashion. And there are little scenes in it as well, like at a coffee shop and like little shops and boutiques in here so it's really cute and I definitely am happy to be doing this series with y'all in this book because I don't show it enough love and I always say Fabiana Atanasio was my first adult coloring book because that's the one that I count but technically this one was my first adult coloring book that my mom got me because <laughs> They were selling this where I was working at the time and I was broke and I asked her to get it because I wanted to get into adult coloring. But I think I didn't truly get into it until maybe a year or two after I had gotten this book. So yeah, so I'm just basically following the lines that the artist has drawn. And you want to darken it around the collar just so you can show that, you know, it's got some dimension and it's not just flat laying on the shirt here 
all right so let me go ahead i want to darken this as well because i want to make this like a little triangle here and kind of round it so it looks kind of flowy so this has a line that i'm going to go ahead and follow so you can definitely just learn by following how the artist has drawn it even if it's in this loosey-goosey style like zoe has drawn it in this book it still helps you and helps you figure out your guidelines to like where you're going to put everything but again i just teach myself <laughs> i am not professionally taught or anything like that i've learned just by trial and error and just doing stuff and figuring it out so you know for me that's the best way i learn because when i try to follow tutorials i don't know about y'all but i can never do it right I put too much of me like I like to say I put too much me in it so it never looks right and I just go off the beaten path and start doing my own thing after a while anyway when I'm trying to follow a tutorial so you know I don't know but I wish I could follow a tutorial beat for beat and have it come out looking the way someone else does it that would be great for a change, but, you know, I like my style and I like how I do things, so I'm not mad at that. So, as you can see, I just kind of made a line here, a line there, my own lines. And then here I'm meeting these two sections that I had kind of darkened. And, yeah, I think I'm liking how that's looking. And we shall see, y'all, because, I don't know, in my mind, it looked a certain way. So, we'll see if I am able to bring it to fruition how it looked in my imagination okay so i'm thinking that's pretty much how i want this to shake out for my shadows and my loops and folds and hooks and wrinkles and all that jazz <laughs> we'll see i want to kind of make this darker actually like that and i'm just going around the edges making making it a little lighter like bringing out the color but then i'm trying to really like darken the little shadow areas so as you can see i'm just kind of making my own little there we go i just even made some more lines see i just go with the flow so i'm just making my little lines here and we will see i just want to make sure that i'm darkening where i want my contrast darkest that and pretty much that's what it's looking like like if you really wanted like a sim simplified kind of silk look i think that works out but because you know me i'm not leaving it like that so i'm going in with pink rose now and hopefully i don't know if y'all can see that because my lighting is always stupid <laughs> so here's pink rose and i'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of this in there i don't want to do too much but i'm going over my darkest part and then i'm bringing it out a little bit into the lightest part but yeah my lighting is always trash i don't know why one reason i think is because i mostly film at night and in the wee godforsaken hours of the morning <laughs> and you know i don't have any natural light working with me and that might be a reason so hopefully y'all are able to see and it's not too terrible and the color is showing up somewhat like it should i don't know i'll see when i edit if i need to help things along a bit but I'm honestly not the best at that either. <laughs> if I'm honest with myself. But yeah, I'm just smoothing out, you know, my, my nectar. And then um, just blending it so that it's not such a hard transition between my colors. Because, you know, I picked out a third color as well to try to come in here and blend everything together with it but i'll see if i'll use it or not because i might just keep it like this because i'm, I'm really digging how this is looking actually and you know i don't want to bring in too many colors you probably cannot even tell that i'm adding this color in but i can tell it's smoothing my edges and whatnot so i can at least see that but i kind of wanted to have that silky look and to have that silky look you kind of got to leave it a little with the white happening so that it looks like it's catching the light and that is is that um i don't want to keep saying silky but it's catching the light and it's giving that that silky look 
Every time I keep saying Suki, I also keep thinking of the Teen Titans. Because <laughs> if anyone watched the Teen Titans, I grew up looking at that. They had a pet named Suki. Teen Titans Go is on for like the newest generation. But I honestly don't like Teen Titans Go. And um, they really just copied the original show for Teen Titans Go. A lot of the episodes are just... They made them a little lighter and more fun for this generation. But it's the same storylines for some of the episodes that I've noticed. But yeah, long story short, a Starfire. <laughs> she had a pet named Silky. And every time I say Silky, I'm thinking of that. And it's making me giggle. But anyway. <laughs> so, I'm really liking how that's looking. I just want to smooth this little wrinkle out here. Because I don't like how that kind of looks. And... I think I'm done though because this actually came out pretty cool now in my mind of course it was a little darker because I just always make things a little darker so the last color I had actually chosen to use on here was deco pink but I don't know if I'm going to use deco pink I honestly don't think I'm going to go ahead and put deco pink in there I think I'm really liking how that's looking so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with my white and I'm just going to go ahead and brighten up the areas that are the lightest and then just continue to blend everything in so that I can get that nice smooth transition and we can get that kind of fabric that we're going for for this look because the white is going to smooth everything and I'm starting in the lightest part first so that I'm not dragging the color in too much in the lightest part because prismacolor white will drag your color and sometimes you want that because I've done that before for an effect and it looks really cool and then sometimes you don't want that so right now I don't want that so yeah that's what it's looking like and I'm kind of burnishing and burnishing just means pressing your pencil down kind of hard and really blending it into the paper so I'm kind of doing that because I find that it helps the silk look smooth like if you're going for a silk look, I mean. But I had someone request to do velvet. And I think that'll be cool. I've done the velvet effect in clothing here and there. I I think, well, I wasn't going for velvet. It was kind of suede. I did a Wizard of Oz color along. And that's on the channel if you want to see that in a playlist all by itself. And I kind of did that look for his the wizard's clothing in that picture. But it wasn't really velvet. I think it was more like suede or whatever. But or whatever I was going for the look I don't know but usually when I'm trying to color velvet I am using a marker base and then I'm going over it with pencil and that's how I get the um the kind of texture for my velvet so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so hopefully you can see the difference from this the rough edges in here and then the smoothed edges on this side I'm not sure if you're catching it but now I'm going to smooth out this side here. Like I said, I'm starting with the light part. But yeah, I think I've done like silky type clothing a couple of times actually. But yeah, I'll definitely look into if I can do a velvet on the channel. I don't know what, maybe a coat. I can color a coat that's velvet because that would be pretty. I haven't done a velvet coat. I, like I said in the first video for the sweatpants and the denim I kind of want to color things that I normally don't color now denim I usually do color but I've not colored a blouse like a loose blouse before which is crazy because I've been coloring for like five years I think wait how 17 18 19 21 2 3 yes I just counted on my hands and in my head at the same time so I've been coloring since 2017 and I don't think I've colored like a little silky blouse like this so this is fun. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to just be coloring like the same stuff that I always color with this series. I want to color some new stuff. But I, I wouldn't mind coloring things that I always color, like I said, like the denim. But yeah, just let me know what else you would like to see me color because your comments and stuff, I read them. Thank you. I like interacting with everyone and um, looking at your suggestions because it helps me a lot. Because a lot of the time, well, I'm not even going to lie, all of the time, I don't know what y'all want to see from me. And it will help me greatly, you know, with your suggestions. And I will um, 
see if I can consider them for sure. It helps me out a lot. Okay, so that's what this blouse is looking like. I'm pretty contented with how that's looking. So hopefully my color looks terrible as I'm looking through this. <laughs> but hopefully you can see what it's looking like. I think it looks really nice. And I'm, this pretty much was how it was looking in my mind's eye, you know. So I'm, I'm not mad at that. But I do want to just come in with some nectar. A little bit more like this black lines are bothering me a little bit. I must say I'm not liking them, but I'm just going to come in with my nectar again and I'm going to darken and add a little more contrast to what we just went over because I think it'll help me feel a teensy bit better about everything. It looks good, but I need it to be a little darker like I always do. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this part darker here. Because it's not dark enough for me there. And maybe like here. Just basically where I had already put my shadows. And then I'm just doubling up, tripling up, whatever. <laughs> to just make it a little darker. Because I think it needs to be. Just for me. Because I usually, I mean, I don't do tons and tons of contrast. But I do like contrast. So stuff has to have that darkness along with the light so that it could look a little better to me because that suits my coloring style but to you it might be fine which is cool too but i just needed to, to be to be a little darker you know all right so and maybe that's making a difference that you can see on on the camera i'm not sure but yeah okay yeah see that's better to me I want to make it a little bit darker here too and again this is my nectar so it was the darkest color that we had I was thinking about coming in here with some gray but I'm not I'm not gonna overwork and overdo it because this paper isn't that textured so I don't have you know as much room to layer as I would like for days <laughs> So I have to kind of be selective on how I'm doing that. So I'm just going to take my white here and smooth it out. But yeah, overall, I got a little like something there I don't like. Hold on, let me wipe that off. Okay. Yeah. So overall, this is good. So that's how the blouse looks. So now I'll go ahead and move on to coloring the sweater. So I hope y'all have enjoyed the blouse. Okay, y'all, I am back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would tackle this sweater. So it's on this page where the first video was the sweatpants and the second video was the denim here. And so yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and color her little sweater here. So I'm thinking burgundy. I don't know why, but ever since I first chose this picture to show y'all how I colored the sweatpants, I've been thinking make her sweater burgundy. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and go and roll with. So I have raspberry and I have magenta. And again, these are in the Prismacolor Premiere. I forgot to say in the first part that I will list the colors in the description box so that you can see those. For sure, and since I think um, magenta is going to be my lightest color, and I'm I'm kind of making a burgundy, but kind of not, <laughs> because there is no obvious burgundy color to use in the Prisma colors. I'm just going to um, kind of make one. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start with magenta, and I'm not coloring the stripe. Because I think I'm going to put like glitter or draw something or do something with that stripe. I don't know. I've been thinking since I sat down, like, what am I going to do with it? But I'm going to ignore it for right now. And I'm going to lightly come in with, this is magenta, right? Yeah, magenta. I'm going to lightly come in with magenta and go ahead and lay my base color down. So this is going to be fun because the sweater has like little wrinkles. I don't know. In my mind, I couldn't think of the word. I say curves and swirls. That's not even correct. But this will be cool to make it look fuzzy, to try to make it have a texture. Like all those ideas you can definitely try and do. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and straight like color it as a regular smooth fabric. 
because for it to be fuzzy i know how i could definitely do that maybe well i don't know maybe it'll evolve and we'll see like how i want to add some stuff to this because i have some ideas i have some ideas y'all but i don't know we'll see i'm not trying to get too technically crazy and stuff i'm just trying to show y'all like basically how i would color some clothing items so i don't know we'll see but i mean i'm kind of coloring in a stripe because whatever but i don't know i think i want to maybe come in with some glitter or draw something on that little stripe i'm not sure i can't make up my mind quite yet but with this magenta i'm just going in lightly i could have came in a little lighter but you know it can't be helped right now <laughs> Cause I already started, so I'm just gonna go with this pressure that I started with and get my base down. So I'm not sure what I want to do with the stripes either. Like, do I want to make these burgundy? Well, not stripes, but you know, this part of the sweater. Do I want to make that burgundy. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just do magenta and just go ahead and color that in. I mean, you don't have to do what I'm doing, of course, but I'm just showing you like how I will go about it. So we'll see we'll see I, I have an idea okay so now i have raspberry and i think i know what i'm gonna do so for these little teeny tiny little stripes oh my gosh it's so tiny y'all so i'm just going to go ahead and very putting like dark contrast in them here and there and that's how i'll create like a fun little texture quote unquote so to speak i don't know but <laughs> just play around with it and like see skip some parts like make it darker make it lighter you know that's pretty much what i would do if i were coloring amongst myself which i am that sounds weird i am coloring by myself but i'm talking to y'all so you know but um <laughs> if i was just sitting here without the camera rolling you know this is what i would do so See how it already looks like it's a cool little texture there. So I think I left out this sleeve. So let me just go ahead and grab my pencil back. Okay, so that's what I think I'm going to do there. And then I, I have white out still. And I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of... I'm not really pressing down hard. I'm just going here and there. Putting a little white in. Because it'll make it look like it has a texture. So can't you tell already like... You kind of feel how that would feel like <laughs> if it was real. I don't know. I'm weird like that, y'all. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're old here, welcome. You know how I roll. I make up stories and I think of ways of stuff. So yeah, that's that's how we roll over here in this in this KP Colors corner. Okay, so magenta, not magenta, raspberry. <laughs> I'm going to take my raspberry and I'm going to go ahead and start figuring out like what. I want to shade I'm really torn y'all because I kind of really have an idea to make my sweater have like a cool texture so I'm trying to really reconcile with myself if I want to go ahead and make the cool texture or do I want to go ahead and just color it and show y'all how I would color it not I don't want to say flat but like oh my goodness okay all right here's what I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to color it the regular way I was going to color it. And then I'll do my fun little idea in the middle of the stripe. I think I'm going to go with that. And if I was sitting here by myself, again, without the camera on, I would be doing the same thought process. Because things evolve and change as I color. Because I'll have in my head one idea and then I'll go with something else. So that's what's happening. You're seeing you're seeing how it happens here. Okay, so I'm going to take raspberry and I'm just going to go ahead and start darkening some stuff. So I'm going to go ahead outright and make my little loop here because I feel like the fabric will wrinkle and loop here. And the artist has kind of given some direction a little bit with how she did this. That's just how my imagination is going to take it because y'all know. Y'all know how I do, so. That's how I'm just going to go ahead and just draw some lines out because she's got them here. So that's how I'm going to start for the sweater sleeve here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do some of this. And then this part, I'm definitely going to make a triangle. 
And then I'm going to triangle this out. It's going to get a little better. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, so. And I'm going under the stripe. So I'm just making my little shapes right now. Because, again, I like to imagine, like, how the fabric will, will um, wrinkle and crease and stuff. And that really helps it look a little more realistic. And it helps it not look as flat. And it has some dimension to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do, like, this situation. And I'm just making it up. Because y'all know that's how I roll. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm just doing whatever. And just seeing, like... How I want it to look. Mm. And I don't know. This could be cotton. This could be wool. This could be whatever. I don't know. Like what material you would want it to look like. So yeah. You can just let your imagination take over. And then that will determine like how you go about coloring your fabric so as you can see i did just a couple little swoops and lines and it already looks like it has way more dimension than it being flat like here i'm definitely going to go with that line that she's kind of giving us here and then i'm going to go ahead and kind of put my own little lines like so and then definitely like this little bit here and you want to make it darker and then kind of lighten your pressure on the edges so you don't have such a super, super sharp line. But I kind of want some super, super sharp lines where it's not kind of fading out so I can get the wrinkles and folds that I want to have. Okay, so for here, I'm going to go ahead and darken this side. And it's kind of funny because her hair is in it, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so go ahead and do that and then for the shoulder I'm going to go ahead and do something like this and that's kind of like not necessarily a wrinkle but like a little crease like that and then we've got like the rest of the arm so I'm just going to curve that and as you can see, it's already coming to life. Like, it looks so different than it first did being super flat, right? I hope so, at least. I don't know <laughs> what y'all think, but I think. And, um, yeah, I think that's what's fun about this. I love it. Like, I love coloring clothes. I love coloring food. And I think I love coloring food just because I don't have to think so much about what color to make everything. Food is just food colors. <laughs> and with clothing, I like figuring out, like I said, what material stuff is, how I can make it look dimensional and not flat. Like, I like figuring out where to put my shadows and stuff. And I know to some people that's probably really weird. But I don't know. Once you get into it, it's just, it's just fun. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> So, I'm just going to go ahead and bring my color out a little bit more so that it's not so harsh here. And this book is, like I said, so loosely drawn that you can definitely just go ahead and figure some stuff out on your own. And it helps you learn. So, at least helps me learn. So, here I'm going to go ahead and do some kind of wrinkles like that. I don't know. I just think that's what it would, it would look like. And so, that's what I'm just going to go ahead and do there. And then, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to go under this stripe here. So, again, I'm just making this up, y'all. This could definitely not be how this sweater <laughs> lays for you. But for me, this is just like how I'm going to put my my little spin on it here i'm trying to figure out like how i want this to look so i think that's good we'll, i'll go with that i think because i already kind of went with that so yeah i'm just putting some kind of hooks and hooks and v's that's what it's called when you, when you draw fashion you call it hooks and v's in your clothes so yeah mm. 
this this raspberry comes in for you making burgundy because what is burgundy but like pink and red or i think burgundy has some brown in it too it depends on what kind of burgundy or oh, am i thinking about maroon i don't know they're kind of similar to me but one is more brown but you know i guess that's just how i um my artist eye <laughs> even though you know my my mediocre artist eye trying to distinguish between the colors. Okay, so here, you don't have to do this, what I'm doing, but I don't know. I'm just making it up, like I said, and I think it'll look okay once I get my little lines together. So I'm just coming in, darkening it, and then just shaping, like, which way I want this to go here. So I think I'm going to go like this for this part. And just trying to add dimension and make it not so flat and that it looks like it has a bit more life to it than the original flat lay. You know? Because it's a little body in here and, you know, she's living life. So her clothes have a little life. <laughs> what am I even talking about? I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay, so I just want to soften this out because I feel like this is really harsh, right? So I just want to soften this line a little more. And then that's pretty much how her sweater is looking for me right here. And hopefully you can tell the, the difference between when we first started. I mean, obviously, because I drew like mad lines in here, but you know. And you don't have to do all this that I'm doing. It could just be as simple as you put your color down. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Call it a day. But, you know, I'm extra. I don't know how to be regular and just color regular. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much what I want it to look like, y'all. So now I'm going to take magenta. And I'm just going to come in a little bit, like, really, really light-handed. Bring my magenta in because I'm going to come in with some white. And where I'm putting the magenta is kind of like on the edges of where I put the raspberry and then just mixing it in. Because remember, we came in with this color at first anyway. So it's pretty much down on the paper for us. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix it on in there some more. And just making it not as harsh with my lines. Just kind of smoothing, smoothing, smooth, smooth it out, smooth it out smoothie <laughs> and do that and then do that on this side a little bit because what the white's going to do is going to smush it and it's going to make it look not as textured like how I, i'm liking this texture actually i kind of don't want to come in with the white if i'm honest because i like how the texture of the paper is lending itself to how the sweater looks textured Hopefully that's making sense. I don't know. I, don't, I may not be making sense. <laughs> but that's pretty much how I want it to look. And I'm just going where we had put the lightest parts at. And this is with a light hand. I'm not really trying to burnish at all. Okay, so, and then this little part was really harsh here, so I just want to, like, smooth this out, too. But, yeah, pretty much that's what it's looking like. Okay, so I'm going to take white. I'm just going to wipe this off a little bit. Okay, so very carefully, I'm going to take this white. And usually when I'm unsure about something, I do it on the little teeniest, tiniest part of, of the picture. So, if I don't like it, it's not noticeable and I can still change my mind. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm like, I'm going to like the white in there a little bit. Okay, so, yeah, I don't think that I'm going to like that very much. But I'm going to just put a little bit. I did it on the outside of the shoulder. Do I want to leave it like this or do I want to put a little white? Hmm. Honestly, I kind of want to leave it like this, y'all. But I'm going to take the white because I don't know how to leave well enough alone. It's, it's a thing for me. I'm just going to lightly, lightly come in with my white on this edge right here. 
because it's making it look a little pink and it's giving me like a different kind of color thrown in here and I kind of like it but then I kind of don't because I don't want it to smooth out all the texture that the paper created to make it look like a fabric so I'm just gently very lightly kind of just scribbling this white in because I don't want to mess up like how I've gotten it so yeah I'm just doing that I mean you probably cannot even tell that I put this but I can tell but I don't want to burnish it like how I did right there because I don't want to take the texture away so I'm lightly barely touching the paper putting this in even if my hand looks like I'm kind of burnishing I'm not I swear <laughs> so yeah I'm just putting it a little bit because it's kind of making it pink and I kind of like that a little bit because it's adding a little bit more dimension but I don't want it to take away like the, the nice work that I did so I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it after this so you don't have to do this but I don't know I just wanted to try it and you know see what it was going to turn out looking like so that's pretty much my sweater I really like how that's looking so I'm gonna zoom out a bit so yeah that's her sweater so I just had to do her little shoes and you know do some little hair obviously her ankles because we can't leave them looking like that unless she has on white socks but I doubt that and then this little bit I really have a fun idea but I'm kind of scared to do it y'all because I don't want to mess it up because I like how it looks but I have an idea to try to kind of do pom-poms or maybe I could do like one pom-pom and see what it'll look like and then just leave this kind of white I don't know I gotta think about it for a second <laughs> I really do because I don't want to mess it up because I really like it. So, hmm. Because initially I was going to do like some glitter. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, this is what we're going to do, y'all. We, as in me, myself, and I. Um, <laughs> um, This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take raspberry. And I've done this before, so I'm kind of confident, but kind of not. Um, I'm going to kind of do like, what's it called? Is it called when something is heathered? And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But I'm just going to draw some lines like so, right? Oh my gosh, it just started raining. How perfect is that? Because <laughs> I like to listen to that. Even though I could put rain sounds on when I color. But just for it to naturally rain is so relaxing. And the sound of your pencils. I don't know. We're weirdos <laughs> who color. I know because we like some weird stuff. Like let some people tell it coloring is weird. But I don't know. It's just so relaxing to hear your pencils on the paper. If you color in the quiet. Because sometimes I just legit color in the quiet. I don't want the TV on. I don't want a video on YouTube playing. I like to just be quiet like I'm doing now. And then for me just to hear the rain. It was just perfect right now. So okay. So anyway, I'll shut up. So I'm going to do that texture right so that was with my um, magenta. So now I'm going to take raspberry. I actually want to sharpen this. So give me one second. Hey, I am back. Okay, so I had to sharpen my raspberry. So I'm thinking if I should come down like this, like a cross hatch, or should I just leave it straight across like that? I kind of really like it looking like that, y'all. So I think I'm just going to take my, this is raspberry again. This is the darkest color that I used. And I'm just going to, See if it makes a difference me putting it dark. Yeah, I can tell. Okay, so I'm just going to continue making my horizontal little lines. And I'm not trying to cover up the white too much because I kind of like it that way. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to zoom out here. And that's how it's looking. How cute is that? So I'm glad I didn't go with my pom-pom idea because if I would have done that, I would have screwed it up because I don't even know how I was going to do it, but it wasn't going to look kind of cute like that. Okay, so the only thing I have to do is her little shoes. I don't think I need to do that on camera because, I mean, it's so tiny and y'all ain't going to be able to see anyway. And then I'll just finish the rest of her off really quick. But yeah, that's how I color, well, how I approach, you know, this sweater. And then this is how I approached this little blouse here. So, yeah, I think for the pants, I don't know what color I'm going to do the pants. I am still thinking about that. So, I'm not sure. But, ooh, a green would be pretty. I think that would be pretty. 
Hmm. Any hoozles, thank you for watching this little series, quote unquote, that I started about how I color things. I hope y'all have enjoyed the jeans, the denim, and the little sweatpants that I've done. And of course, the blouse and the sweater in this video for tonight. And yeah, if you have any suggestions about what you would like to see me color clothing wise, you could let me know in the in the comment box. I do have, I was looking at this one. I think this is so cute with these little canvas sneakers. And I do have an idea to, um, I was actually looking at this. I think these would be cool to kind of color some of these and then put some washi tapes on some of these too, because it's enough open space where it will look cool. So I don't know, I might do that, but I have a video on how you um, can use washi tape in your coloring books. If you slide your finger over, um, whatever, if you're on your tablet or your phone, you'll see how I color playlist and how I use washi tape in my color books is in that playlist. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you um, went ahead and made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it. I hope y'all are staying safe out there. You're taking care and I'll see you in my next video.